Hello, everyone. My name is Sheila Lowe. I've been a member of CWA for a few years now, not sure how many. I'm coming to you from California, and I'm sitting at what my friends call the command center. And that's because it's a big semicircular desk with three big monitors, and this is where I spend most of my life. I was actually born in London a long time ago, and my interest in mystery started on my eighth birthday, when in my big pile of presents, I got this, The Sea of Adventure by Enid Blyton. Well, I had known of Enid Blyton for a long time because I was a big fan of Naughty, but um, I now started reading all of her mysteries and I was completely hooked immediately. Well, my parents decided to move to the United States a few years later. And um, I've been in California since, well, we came over shortly after the Beatles Royal Command performance. And I was 14 and writing stories about the Beatles. I was always married to Ringo. And uh, I like to think they followed me over shortly after. My, my school friends really enjoyed reading those stories, but they're a far cry from what I write now. But when I was in high school, I, um, my boyfriend's mother had read a book about handwriting analysis and she analyzed my handwriting. I was completely enthralled by what she wrote about me. It was so accurate. And so I started haunting the libraries and the bookshops and reading everything I could get my hands on. I became certified as a uh, handwriting analyst and later as a handwriting expert. Um, apparently, this woman wanted to know what kind of a girl her son was dating, but little did she know it would lead to the career that uh, I've had for most of my life now. So I'd worked in handwriting analysis for a long time when one day an attorney, or if you like, a barrister, called me and said, I have a um, forgery case that I'd like you to come to court and testify. And I said, well, no, I don't do that. I just work in personality assessment. And he said, do you know handwriting? And of course I said, yes, I've worked in the field for 20 years. And he said, well, I'll get you qualified. We go to court tomorrow. And either I was stupid enough or arrogant enough, but I went, it went well. And as they say, the rest is history. Well, I'd always wanted to write a mystery, but up until 1997, I'd only been writing technical papers on handwriting. And then I had two books published, The Complete Idiot's Guide to Handwriting Analysis and The um, Handwriting of the Famous and Infamous. But I started writing the first book in the Claudia Rose mystery series. It was another 10 years before it was published by Penguin. I was really thrilled because, you know, Penguin is a big publisher. And my editor there loved my series. But um, she left after I'd written the fourth book and a new editor came in. And uh, basically, she didn't care about my series. So I ended up very happily with a small publisher named Suspense. And they also published Suspense magazine, which is widely known. They rebranded my books with beautiful new covers. We got the rights back for those first four. And then I wrote... Um, a number of additional books, and uh, they're about to publish my 10th book sometime, I think, the end of this year. It's number eight in my forensic handwriting mystery series. But I started a new paranormal series, too. I became interested in the paranormal through a horrible tragedy in my life when my daughter Jennifer was murdered by her boyfriend in 2000. He killed himself, too. But I began to research what happens when someone dies. And what I found out was that there is no death. There's only life after earth. And I know that Jennifer is still very much an active part of my life. So recently, I started writing um, this new series called Beyond the Veil series. And the current one, Proof of Life, is my most recent book. Nearly all my books are in audio too. And as it happens, I have a lot of free UK codes for anybody who's interested 
feel free to contact me and I'll send you some. So I'm just waiting for a publication on the new book, the Claudia Rose book. The one that's out now is written off. Um, but the new one is called Dead Letters, where Claudia Rose's 18-year-old niece goes missing from an archaeological dig site in Egypt. And the girl's father is prevented from going to find her. So, of course, Claudia has to go looking for her. And um, lots of suspenseful things ensue. So I'd like to invite you to visit my website for books, and that's ClaudiaRoseSeries.com. And I hope you found this interesting. Thanks a lot for listening.